Yeah, uh, road warriors for sure. Um, it, it's been a, a pretty good experience where we're continuing to be able to grow, uh, finding ourselves. But starting with Lubbock, we played CSU Pueblo, who had a tremendous year last year. Um, so we focused on that, be able to get a win out of that, um, and then we turned around and played Colorado Christian, which um, we didn't pay, play particularly well. They took us out quite a bit of everything. Um, we dropped that one, unfortunately, but we did grow from, from, from that game. Actually, they, they are playing pretty well now, um, you know, looking back. So it's, we, we grew a lot from, from that weekend. Coach, and then moving towards your Puerto Rico experience, talk just a little bit about the team's play one, but also just the experience of the trip, getting to go play a place where I'm sure many of your players, have, if any, have ever been before and experience that as a team and as a program. Yeah, what an opportunity for us to be able to go to Puerto Rico, play three games, uh, three solid three solid wins. Um, it, was, it was a great experience of just going out there. Um, we were able to play a little bit of, of basketball. Uh, there was one team that had the national team coach, so they were very well coached. Uh, it was fun. It was fun to be able to go to a, a, a whole different, go to an island and just be able to go play basketball and, and have a little fun on, on the side. The weather was tremendous, the food was great. Um, but yeah, it was it was an, a great opportunity and hopefully that we could continue to build off of that. And then last week against Southern Arkansas and Henderson State, you split the week 1-1, one, one, but two very tough places to play against two teams that are traditionally solid in the Great American Conference. What did you learn about your team last week, finding a way to get a win after all the travel and the, and the quick start to the season? Yeah, again, just being on the road, um, making it about about ourselves. I guess the, what's been nice that we could just really just focus on basketball. We didn't have school because, you know, for over the Thanksgiving break. So the, the one thing that I would kind of say a little bit of being on the road, we didn't get to practice as much, so we couldn't be able to fix things that we needed to be fixed. But going into Southern Arkansas, our, our girls gutted it out. Going in, into overtime, we hit shots when we needed it. Um, we had some girls in foul trouble, but how we found a, a way to win is pretty promising, especially this early on in the season. So we had some fight um, in us, and that's very positive to see, to be able to you know, continue to build on. Going into Henderson State, it was a little bit different. They took us out uh, quite a bit. We didn't, we didn't shoot it very well. We went cold. I think we hit a, I think we hit a six spot, of, and we just can't do that, especially when you're playing against one of the top teams in, in their conference. We have, to, we have to be able to produce a little bit better. But again, it's, we have some promises, some prom promising moments. There's times where we look really good, and there's other things that we, we need to fix. We have to have a little bit of sense of urgency to be able to be a little bit more consistent in some areas. Seems like two themes that have developed about this team early in the season is number one, everyone has the ability to score. Everyone, like you just said, has shown promise. But number two, everyone from top to bottom is going to defend at a high level. Would you agree with those two statements? And if so, is that something that you want to try and lean on as you move into Lone Star Conference play Yeah, this absolutely. Week? Um, what's nice about basketball, you see so many different styles, so you're going to be prepared for many styles. Against Southern Arkansas, it was a track meet. When we played Colorado Christian, it was they sacked. And same with, with Henner, Henderson State, that they sacked in our defense. So we have to be able to be attacking a little bit more downhill. How to play differently. Um, we are capable of, of, of scoring, but when we're not attacking with, with aggression, then when we have those moments where we just drop a six five, that's where we're going to be able to struggle. Coach Lone Star Conference play, like I just mentioned, starting this week at home against Cameron and Midwestern State. So the Lone Star Conference openers and the home openers got to be exciting for your program, your players to get out on the court, especially in LSC play. What's going to be your message in these few days leading up of practice leading up to the games this week? Well, now that we're able to practice, we're correcting a lot of things that, that needed to be corrected. But just conference is important. Every game is important, especially in Division Two. But just it. It kind of puts things for real. It's the second part of the season now that we're going into our conference play. But all these games matter, and they're all going to be tough, as as we're all aware of. Like from top to bottom, it just there's not there's no breaks. Um, we have to bring our, our game every single time. We have to be focused on our scout. We have to be focused of growing each week. Coach, return to the HPC for the first time this season. 
you know, what's the what's it going to be like just to play in front of the home crowd? You, are you looking forward to it? Obviously, you know, are the girls looking forward to it? What's the message to them playing your first home games? You know, it's being on the road. It's it got a little tiring, but it, I mean, the, there's no excuses to it. But it's nice to finally be home. Unfortunately, just how the schedule was kind of set up, we, we kind of had it set up in a way that we were going to play home a little bit earlier. But yeah, it's nice to be sleeping in our own beds, to be able to do laundry, and you know, just being at home a little bit is is it's a nice feeling to finally be playing in front of our fans. Coach, appreciate your time. Best of luck this week, and uh, looking forward to it. Thank you.